Mickey, you're very welcome. Thinking about Jedward, though, say they now recognise absolutely everywhere they go. Have they crossed your radar screen? Oh, I've seen them in the papers and on TV. I only got here a few weeks ago, so I'm not exactly sure what it was all about, but I love the hair. <laughs> Where did that come from? Did Where, they tell you? Lord, out of a box, I think. <laughs> now, you, you know, are, are, are exactly acquainted with what they're going through because the monkeys, I mean, I remember buying Daydream Believer, you know, all those oh, years yeah. ago. Yeah. To, was it, you know, completely out of the ordinary and did it blow you away? Well, I'd already had a series when I was a kid called Circus Boys. So I I'd... remember Corky. Yeah, here you go. Oh. So I'd had some experience. I had fans, I had fan clubs, I signed autographs, I had kids chasing me around at times, I did parades. So I'd had a little bit of a taste of it, but nothing could can prepare you for what happened, um, you know, uh, the when the monkeys masses. hit, hit yeah. big. I mean, you know, when we came over here, it was just, you know, it was just enormous. Did it ever get scary? It did a couple of times, yeah. I'm being chased by, you know, when a couple of hundred people are chasing you, it doesn't matter if they're all nine-year-old <laughs> girls, just the mass, <laughs> the weight of the mass, uh, you know. Uh, and, and at times, yeah, and people did get hurt and people fell down or got no knocked over or something like that. And so at times it... Uh, it can get a little bit, uh, a little bit scary. Bringing us right back to today now, do you think now you enjoy your career more than you did then? Is it more well, I remember more now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm told I had a great time back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Really? <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, I don't no, know whether to inquire so further much, or not. So much happens so fast. Really, what happened to me, just specifically, is that when you're in that kind of a situation, it's like this hurricane going around, uh, going on around you, and you're like in the eye of the hurricane, because you're protected, you're posited, you're kind of kept away. And of course, in, in, in uh, our case, we were filming that television show 10, 12 hours a day, and then rehearsing and recording and then going on the road. So there wasn't a whole lot of time. Mm. And um, in L.A., um, I don't remember m uh, much going on fan-wise at all because L.A. was well, it's not a big fan town anyway. But till we got on the road, till we went and came here, I remember here very distinctly because we were staying at the Royal Garden Hotel on that park. What's that park? Um, Kensington. Yes. Kensington. Yeah, Kensington yeah. Gardens. Right, Kensington Gardens, yeah. yeah. That's where Princess Margaret had a house. Yes, Kensington right? okay. Palace. Yeah. So we're staying at, the, at this beautiful hotel, and there's hundreds of kids out all day and night on the street and in the park, and screaming and yelling, Davey, Mickey, Mickey. <laughs> and we come out on the balcony, you know, like, <laughs> oh, hello, oh, my children. <laughs> 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 and um, laughing, and they were screaming and yelling. And one night, the producers came and they said they got a royal note from Princess Margaret saying, Could one keep one's fans quiet because one can't sleep? <laughs> oh, I remember that, it was crazy. Well, you've got fans now watching you in hairspray, you're enjoying the role. You've got oh, it's Brian great. Conley to work with, who's allowed for a minute for us. Brian is great, he's been a wonderful friend already. He's a very gracious, generous actor, been helping, giving me little clues and cues about what's, what's worked and hasn't worked in the past. I'm having a great time, but I, I love musical theater. I've, that's not just about all I've been doing now for years, and um, mostly in the States, but I plan to do some more here, too. Well, it's great to have you over here. I mean, do you notice the differences between the States audiences and the audiences over here? Because loads of them over here must remember you from the monkeys, and one or two like me from Circus Boy. You know, it's always nice to kind of keep in touch with one's childhood via you, Mickey, really, if well, you don't you. mind. Thank you. But is it as pleasurable over here as it is in the States? Oh, it's wonderful. Well, the West End, I mean, you know, you don't get much better than that. Mm. Um, and the audiences are, are the same. So, you know, they laugh at different times at different things. There's a little bit of a different sense of humour, of course, at times. But for a show like Hairspray, it's, it, it, it works pretty the well. Energy the energy's phenomenal in this show. The amount of energy that the cast has is huge. You know, well, I came out. twenty. Yeah, <laughs> sick. <laughs> yeah. Except for me, <laughs> <laughs> I got to get ready. I got to prepare all day and have like half a half a gallon of coffee. So you're in it until what? The end of March. Till the end of March. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Well, bless yeah. you up for coming. Thank you very much. Thank Great you. to see you, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen. In Hairspray right now, Mickey Dolenz. Thank you. 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 Thank you